Hello, in this video, let's create roof structure elements. So for this purpose, I have two sections. One section is uh, along the roof and another is perpendicular to roof. So I can see all the structural elements inside. So first I need to understand in which part I have my structure elements of my roof. So I select roof structure and in this case my layer for the uh, rafters is this one so in this layer i should put my rafters so i see 150 of my rafters and some wood wood beams or uh, wood elements also i should create additional ones 75 50 uh, and and here also 80 and 30 and so all these uh, layers should have some wooden parts in my uh, roof construction. But for this education example, we will use just only one layer for my uh, rafter beams. So I will create them in this location. So in this case, I will use additional uh, uh, reference planes. I use green tool and I select my reference plane will be here and here. And uh, let's say so this reference plane is created nicely here. Let's move it to the top of my Okay, so from one side I have my reference and from the other side. So for better management I can put names, so roof rafter 01 and here roof rafter 02. So it will help me to manage my uh, planes. And also for my roof construction, I create additional layer, building structure, third floor, and elevation will be, in this case, 4 meters, 400. And for this purpose, I go to views, uh, structure plan, and I create additional structure plan. So let's put nicely them together and here I have my 3D model. So in this case I will select my roof and I just cut it out from my old building and I just put like that so I can see all the stuff which I will create. Also I can change this uh, representation just a graphical display and use transparency 50% so I will see uh, the parts which will be inside here. Now in this uh, plan let's change to medium. Let's change, uh, let's clip it, clip line. Let's use uh, scope box and in this case a view range so unlimited above and cut plane let's use the heat of the roof so in this case I should measure this part so it's about 100 1 meter 500 so let's uh, change view range and let's put let's say 2 meters up so I can see all the parts in this case, I don't need to see the roof. I will need to see my my rafter parts. Uh, so, in this case, I change discipline to structure. So, through it, I see all the walls. Of course, I need to uh, change it maybe to zeros. Apply. I see only the main walls on the top floor. And let's change roof representation. So I go here and my roof should be shown in 
course representation and no pattern. And also the line, I can choose it to be uh, ISO 02 dashed line. Let's change the color to see it's a better representation. And transparency, let's use 100. So here you see my roof is represented nicely. Of course, also I don't need to see maybe this uh, gutter and soffit other parts of my uh, roof. If I change transparency to 100, so all the walls also will be visible. So in this case, uh, for the walls, I should do the same. Just use a line and let's use dashed and let's say below. Okay. And let's turn off uh, roof parts, uh, so soffit, edges, and also I will turn off uh, gutter. And I will turn on fascia. So I see just roof and walls in dashed lines. And I pull, will put my rafter beams in here. Okay, so I prepared my my plan, and now let's start from structure beam system, and let's sketch it. So I will use sketch tool, but first I will select the set, and from here you see rafter roof rafter. Okay, I select the plane. I select the line and in this case I should go and select the roof part. And let's trim. And let's use distance fixed of 600 according to the Insulation materials, and now I need some uh, wooden beams in my project. Let's use beam direction, and I will put it inside the middle from the middle. Yeah, and let's load. I can use loading tool this one. Or I can go back to my manager and I can go to structure framing, uh, wood parts, and let's look for dimension number simple simple wood object place element so it's placing object okay maybe not this one So it seems if I am in the editing mode, it will this tool will not help me. So I need to go to insert load family and just use traditional way to load this stuff. So use detailed view, structure framing. Wood. And rafter beam or dimension number. Okay. 
So in this case, I need 150, so I choose the closest one, and I will fix this dimension. So these dimensions is according to the uh, cutting uh, machines, which prepare dimension number. So each region have it, its standards, so you should use dimension number from the catalogs from each country. Okay, dimension number. Let's fix dimensions, framing, dimension number, and let's say this. One fifty, and here let's use sixty. I mean, sixty, one fifty. So, for example, I will use this one. But for every project, you should use uh, it from the catalogs. Okay, and now I can press OK, and it nicely creates all all the objects. So you see, my managing program starts to work when I finish editing my beams. Next, if I want, I can use mirror tool and I can mirror this to another location. And here I have my rafter beams created. If I look here, you see my rafter beams is not joined nicely. So I should use some special cutting rules. I can do it using reference plane and I can create additional reference plane like this one. And I can say I want to modify, cut it. So I select object, cut. And it should cut nicely, like you see in here. So if I want to cut all the rafter beams, so I should go and make change to my section view so it represents all, all the rafter beams from all the sides. And also multi cut, okay. And here you see they joins nicely here in this location. Other possibility I can select these beams, I can isolate them, and in this case, sometimes works the beam collagenized tool. Mm. In this case, it's not working, so maybe I need to just unplug and use trim tool. Uh, no, in this case, this tool is not working. So sometimes it it works. So also you can use uh, still editing tool, uh, tools and use. Uh, uh, Meter. I select objects, I press enter. And it depends, connection failed from the object type. So some objects, if they are uh, beams and they are modified, they may cannot work. But this tool, if everything is by, by, by the book, so it should work. So in the plan, I go here. If I want to represent my rafter beams just like symbolic lines, so I can turn it to uh, show the axis lines course representation so it's easy for me to 
put dimensions if I see them in course. And I can just okay spend some time putting all these dimensions. And let's show how 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 long it's till the end of the roof. And of course I should connect them to the grid lines. So I select grid line and one of these. Next dimensions, the length dimensions, uh, it's not recommended to put these dimensions in this view because uh, uh, these are projected with some inclination. So if you want to show the length of your raster beams, you should go to your uh, section view and the real dimension of your raster beam will be presented here. So the real dimension will be this one. So in this view, just put what is the distance. Of course, you should tag these objects. And for the formula to represent it nicely and not showing all the elements, you can choose show uh, equality formula. And here you see it gives you some equality formula. You can modify it here, total length, so length of segment. So I multiply it by number of segments up and surfix equals to total length. I don't need space here. Apply. And I can change dimension, representation, and other stuff. So you see, 600 multiplied by 14 equals this number. And I have, I can see from here how many rafter beams I have in, in my representation. And in this case, I see some error. So I edit and fix this formula. So x I will put here. So for these beams, that's all. And let's go back here. Let's say project. And often the main rafter beams uh, is to the main bearing part of the wall. So in this case, my rafter beam should be if I hide this uh, roof. So the main rafter beam should end as something like uh, here till the main part of my bearing wall. And next part, it can be smaller one and it's additional rafter beam, which is for putting all this part of the roof uh, hanging and going out uh, to the outside part. So uh, this part, is uh, one part and this bearing part so it takes big loads and the size of this beam mostly is big and this part can be a smaller one and it's just created like additional one so I can show example I can put it side by side and I can extend it so let's say this part is presented here And another end, okay, let's destroy. And it ends here, something like here. So in this part, you can put some nails or screws to connect your rafter beams. And if I go to my 3D model, and for this part, you also can use beam, beam system. 
and you can connect them uh, using beam system so you can create additional beam system in here so from here you can see it joins like that Okay, so let's delete this connection. Okay, so that's all for the basics of uh, roof structure elements.